Good evening. Welcome to the Let's Saturday Night Show with William Duong. This is episode number three, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. And now let's have a look at what's going on on the show today. As usual, it is now time for the conversation with special guests. And today, I not only invite one special guest, but two special guests to the show. They are two seniors studying at Lincoln Academy, an amazing, uh, very amazing athletes and students. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Allison and Madeline Jock. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, we only have one chair here, so do you prefer sitting on one chair or separate chairs? Um, can we place our own? We're not the same uh, person. Okay, sure. Uh, we'll come back after a second. Welcome back. So thank you very much for being here on the show today. Uh, how are you guys doing? Great. Awesome. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. And would you like anything to drink? Water, please. Yep. What about you? Water. Uh, oh, cool. Good to know. I only have hot water. Um, Alright, uh, as everyone knows, Christmas vacation has ended and now we are back to school. And did you guys have a great time during Christmas? Anything fun? Yeah, it was pretty laid back besides um, playing in basketball games. So. Mm, cool. Yeah, same with me, basketball. Yeah, that's cool. And correct me if I'm wrong, as far as I did research on Google, YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, Netflix, Tinder, and so on, uh, I found out that you guys are twin. Is that correct? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't either. Um, and can you share with uh, me your favorite memory together? No. <laughs> okay. uh, not really. There are too many, oh. I guess. So Maybe I may I I need to ask their parents then. Uh, okay, uh, now we will uh, need you guys to answer the questions honestly. So use only three words to describe okay. the other. Let's go with Alison. Okay. Should I? Yeah. What does that mean? What? Does it mean to say goody two shoes? I don't care. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Goody two shoes. Mm. <laughs> You think it's true? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what are your three words to her? Um, sassy, creative, and spontaneous. How do you feel about that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And you guys are very athletic students at Lincoln Academy. So can you share, guys, share with uh, everyone which sport you participate in? So I participate in soccer, basketball, and softball. Mm. And I participate in soccer, basketball, and lacrosse, but previously, my freshman and sophomore year, I did track. Oh, is that hard and competitive to play sports here? If a new students do not have a lot of experiences in sport and they just want to join a team, which sport do you recommend? So I would say that sports here at Lincoln Academy are pretty competitive. Um, the majority of them are, but there are JV teams for, I think, all those teams. Mm. So JV a JV team is for less experienced players or yeah. So I would recommend to still try out sports. Yeah. And personally, um I play lacrosse and we don't usually have many girls come out and play. So if you're an international student, um mm. it's pretty easy to pick up the sport. I just started last year and I made the team, nobody got cut. So, yeah. 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 There are a few other teams where they make no cuts, so mm. I think both the track teams, indoor and outdoor, mm -hmm. don't cut. Uh, cross country doesn't, and I'm not sure, I don't think the swimming team does it. Oh, cool. So, there you are. If you want to, in, to play sports, there are tons of opportunities right here. And now, uh, we will move to the next part. You guys are a very dynamic member of the ambassador clubs. So, can you tell us what ambassadors, ambassadors mean and what do they do? You can take this off. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the Ambassador Club is um, made up of students that have been here the previous year and they get paired up with incoming residential students mm. over the summer. So we get your email and um, you connect back and forth throughout the summer and answer any questions that the new incoming students may have. That's awesome. And then when they arrive here, um, the new residential students, um, their ambassador that they're paired with, they show them around and um, just get them used to the school. 
So that's so it's, nice of you guys. And yeah. just tell me your most memorable moment with the residential students that you have ever had. Let's oh. go with Alison. Okay, so my the most fun moment I've had is last year. We all dressed up in random costumes and we went out on the upper field here just outside of Hall House and we had a huge soccer game. It was new residential students against ambassadors and we had it with a beach ball and it was so much fun. People like actually picked up the ball instead of kicking it <laughs> and I have some videos still and it was like so much fun. It is actually the combination of soccer, football, kickboxing, and some other sports. <laughs> yeah. And what about yours? Um, mine was like the same day. It was the Amazing Race, which is an event that William puts on. So I don't know who's going to do it next year. Hopefully it'll still be a thing. And we were split up into different groups with a bunch of ambassadors as well as new residential students. And um, our teams went downtown and we did like... Um, missions. missions and stuff so yeah, yeah. it's pretty it cool fun. way to uh, help students to feel at home and get used to the new school and now I will have a challenge for you guys are you Ooh. up for it no I'm down for it okay let's do it oh how do you guys enjoy your hot water oh it was very good oh awesome and the name of the challenge today is Allison or Madeline so you guys will give me a total of 10 pictures mm -hmm. and I have to identify who is who. If I get more than 3 questions wrong, I have to do 5 push-ups. But if you, I get less than 3 questions wrong, it means the questions are not hard enough. So each of you guys have to do 5 push-ups. I know the challenge is going to be hard but I'm really excited. So let's start with the first picture. Okay. okay. These are very hard. Okay. Oh, this okay. one. Oh, this is one. I would say it's a cute picture, but I cannot tell that much. Yeah, you can. I would say this one is Madeline, and this one is Allison. You're correct. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The first so question people get that one wrong. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's go with the second picture. <laughs> I don't want any push-ups either. Ah. Uh, it looks so no. bad. Look <laughs> straight at me. Look. Nope. nope. I used to hate having my hair up. I would hate it. I was so mad. Uh, I would say by telling by the eyes, I would say this is Allison, this is Madeline. You're wrong! Yeah. Yes, I'm wrong? wrong? Yeah. That one's me and that one's Allison. Yep. 100%. Okay. A third one. Oh. Uh, don't. Shush. One of you know. guys wear sunglasses, which is pretty cool. And as far as I'm. I'm not gonna tell who's the cooler one, but I would guess the one with the sunglasses is you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I let's know. go with the next one. <laughs> one of them is crying, and the one who I think more emotional cry most must be Allison. Is that you? <laughs> yeah. Me, that's <laughs> I wouldn't say I cry more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so cute. Well, that was also on my Finsta, so if you were paying attention, oh, yeah. I don't think you're gonna get this one right. You don't think so? No, I'm just, just kidding. Did you guys in Photoshop or something? No. Just, no. just copy and crop the face. Um, I would say the one tries to be cool, like this, fold the head out, would be Allison. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh <laughs> All right. God. Awesome. Ah, uh -huh, this one. I think it's pretty obvious. This yeah. is Allison and this is mm -hmm. Madeline. Yep. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose. Yeah, this we one. are. I don't want to do push ups. This one, I would say this is Allison and this is Madeline. You're wrong! I knew he would get that one wrong. I told her. Other people I know, everybody gets that one wrong. Two wrong. So if he gets two more wrong, he's done, right? Yeah. There's no yeah. way. No, yeah. this one must be. No, it's no. not. I'm not gonna say it, never mind. Because then I don't know if there are any other pictures. Oh, wait, we have three left, so we, we have to three. get some. Three left. So okay. the score right now is I get two wrongs. So if I get any more wrongs, it, it will be no one have to do push up. Yeah. And if I get two more wrongs, I have to do push up. And if I get no more wrong, they have to do push up. Yeah. Awesome. And three left, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. This one. This one. 
one of them is looking at the camera, the other one doesn't. And who is the one more likely to get distracted? I would say it's this is Alison. No! <laughs> Please, this was the one at lunch where someone was like, oh, she's wearing blue. Oh, the one on the front! Oh my god! Because <laughs> Allie's like, Allie's like, Madeline's wearing blue. So then William's like, I'll remember that. But oh. he didn't. I'm so happy. Oh. I was so scared. And this one? This one's hard, okay? This oh my god. How can our you? mom even got this yeah. one. It tricked me with the we baby. Had, we had to like, our mom on Facebook put it that it was the opposite, but we know what's We're right. pretty sure, yeah. Oh, I'll ask I her know again. which one's me. And the ants. This is completely random. I cannot tell. <laughs> but I would say. Oh, she's wearing pink. Alison likes pink. This is Alison. That's, yes. That's what we think. That's what we think. Because look, my nose is like more pointed up. That looks like yeah. just like me, if you look it at does. it. Yes. And this looks more like Madeline. That seriously yes. does. So. And but this, when I was younger, my, my favorite color was awesome. pink, mm. and hers was purple, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. And this is the last questions, and this one will lead to me. Wait, you got three wrongs. He's yeah. gotten three wrongs. So then so right now nobody does it. <laughs> yeah, so the last questions, if I got it wrong, push up. If I got it right, no mm -hmm. push up. And this one, another baby pictures. One of them is looking pretty mad. This one is completely Photoshop one crop is <laughs> on the other one. Oh my god. One is pretty angry, the other one is happy. I think that's just RBF. Hmm. I would say this is Alison. No is You're wrong. wrong. Yes, you push up. Because, okay, so when we were younger, I've noticed. Madeline always had a binky. In the car picture, she had a binky, too. Yeah. And I never had a binky. Allison never had a binky. Yeah. Oh, my God. I always had a binky. This thing is impossible. That's the reason we know. They and, and what do people call a binky mm -hmm. or, like, pacifier, pacifier. Mm -hmm. Where are we in that picture? You guys are at Lincoln Academy. Where? Uh, right next to the gym. Yep. Yes, the art, that's the, the, art the art group. Yeah, Isn't that awesome. so it weird? It is really cool. Yeah. So, actually, it's a very fun challenge, and you know who's the winner, who's the loser, but uh, that's completely fine. And I think the challenge also wraps up the conversation between me and you guys today. I hope you guys have a great time on the conversation, and everyone knows a little bit more about you guys and the school. So, thank you very much for being here on the show today. Have a great Saturday night. Thanks Thank for having you. Us. I'll be at the movies. Good night. <laughs> the conversation with Alison and Marion also wrap up the uh, part one of episode number three today. If you want to watch part two, please click in the uh, link in the description and see you there. One, two, three, four, five. Done.